today today is second of september 2025 so today i will go to show you how to boot uh i mean how to boot a pc with usb bootable drive so i am today i am going to install the windows operating system for my laptop so i will show you how to do that so yeah uh, you can see in this uh, corner of the cards you can see how to make a bootable usb drive using power yes or or you can use any bootable drive uh, bootable device maker drive make using a bootable device creating software so refus is another software okay so after you make a bootable device you need to restart your pc first so if you going to uh, install the windows or to install the os with the same computer you need to restart that if you going to install empty pc you need to uh, inst uh, you need to put it back the usb drive and uh, you need to insert i mean you need to plug it which computer you need to install so first we need to uh, we had to restart our pc okay so i'm going to restart my pc right now so wait until the restart so yeah if you need uh, first of, uh, i'm really sorry i already went the boot menu so first you need to go to your boot menu so i will so you, you need to go to your laptop or pc boot menu so those are the keys for boot menu lot of uh, computers you can go to boot menu clicking esc button f2 button or f12 f10 maybe delete those are the keys so however you can search your laptop or pc uh, model uh, maybe the laptop you have the model uh, in computer you can uh, if your computer is customized pc you can search your motherboard uh, motherboard model number or motherboard uh, brand name on google then you can find the bootable key so after you press the bootable key when you start your uh, computer or laptop you can go to the menu so after you when this boot menu you have the option to go to the boot section so after you go to the boot section you have the priorities of the order so first we need to uh, take our take into our mind what is your hard drive you can see the main hard drives so in this laptop i had installed a ssd on the hard drive slot also i had uh, removed the cd rom and install another ssd on that case so in this video you can see there are two uh, hard disk in this pc so this is not hard disk uh, this is ssd but in this laptop they show uh, it as a hdd you can see there are two hard drives in there also you can see my pen drive so it's toshiba 16 gb pen drive so you can see that toshiba trans trans memory so trans memory is like a usb drive so first we need to uh, take our mind what we going to do we are going to do to install which hard drive from which drive which bootable drive so we need to take the bootable drive the priority list order first so you can uh, check which keys you need you can uh, change the value so in this bio setup you can change the value using f5 and f6 so when i click click uh, f5 and f6 buttons you can see the order will go up and down so first we need to go take the toshiba trans memory my bootable usb drive to the first because we need to take this first and then we need to take our 
SSD or HDD or NVMe. However, your 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 computer main storage as the second option. So I said uh, I take my five uh, five twelve GB NVMe Toshiba. This is my uh, primary storage. So I take it into the second option. So after that you need to save and exit you can uh, check which key is you have to save and exit because you can't use the mouse or anything to uh, do that so first you need to check which key is uh, you need to save and exit so f10 is the key on my bios so i click that and yes you can see uh, the com uh, computer or laptop is uh, power off and again it will be start automatically this is not restart it's power off and automatically started so just we need to wait until the bootable until the boot menu uh, until the win uh, windows os uh, installing menu coming so you can see the windows 10 uh, logo is appear here so you can see there are a war or uh, yeah this is the menu so if you got this menu it is the first step of we are going to install the windows so you can see first we can change the language so i already kept this is my primary language uh, this is my not my mother tongue but i will use this language also time and currency i will keep this and keyboard uh, input method i kept those settings you can go to next and then you can see the install now button so after you click that you will starting the setup so this will take a moment like few seconds so after few seconds you will get this this is the options you can uh, you can activate your windows uh, i mean if you have uh, your own key you can use oem windows will automatically install the same version original equipment oem so pro version digital key you need to activation and the pro is standard installation for those with own license key so i'm going to install automatically uh, oem version so go to next after you went there you need to uh, accept accept those agreement so after you accept these license uh, terms and conditions you can go to next and then you can go to custom install uh, install windows only because uh if you have internet connection if you connected your internet connection or you have uh internet connection on that time you are installing this process you can go to upgrade but i don't have so i'm going to custom yeah so in this uh time you can see a lot of uh things here so first we need to find the primary device so you can see a uh, lot of hard drives in your your side so you need to select uh, your primary device so i will select my primary device right now so finally you select your primary storage uh, which you need to install your os so click on next so after they will ask if you have some files previous file those they will be formatted format so this is the process windows will go into install so this process you need to wait 100 percent of this uh, copy getting ready to installation to 100 percentage so if that finished you can go install it in features so in this time you need to eject your pen drive keep in mind after this uh, percent uh, 100 percentage done then go to installing features so after that you have to uh, you have to 
restart your PC it will be automatically done so after that you must need to eject your pen drive so this is the process you need to do in installing windows so after that you don't need to do anything then uh, that that will be automatically done after you eject your pen drive so yeah this is the video how do i am going to install the windows os on my laptop so thanks for watching i will take a lot of videos like this in next video so see you guys in next video bye bye